Hello and welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm your host, James Carter. Today we're discussing a fascinating and critical condition for every healthcare provider to understand, Kunis syndrome. Kunis syndrome, at its core, is a hypersensitivity-associated acute coronary syndrome. Imagine the scenario. An allergic reaction triggers a cascade, specifically mast cell activation, which then leads to a coronary artery spasm or even plaque rupture. Clinically, this presents with the classic anginal chest pain, changes on the electrocardiogram, and elevated cardiac biomarkers. Essentially, it mimics an acute myocardial infarction. The diagnostic challenge here lies in maintaining a high index of suspicion, especially in patients who present with these cardiac symptoms directly following an allergic event. The pathophysiology is driven by anaphylaxis, triggering an acute coronary syndrome. The mast cell activation releases a host of cytokines, and it's these cytokines that are responsible for either the coronary spasm or, in more severe cases, plaque rupture. We categorize Kunis syndrome into three distinct types. Type 1 occurs in patients with no underlying coronary artery disease. Type 2 affects individuals with underlying yet asymptomatic coronary artery disease. And finally, type 3 is characterized by the presence of eosinophils or mast cells within a coronary thrombus or a stent thrombus. Now, let's talk about management, which, as you can imagine, can be quite tricky. The immediate priority is to treat the anaphylaxis. This often involves epinephrine, but here's where the caution comes in. We must be mindful of its potential to exacerbate coronary spasm. Alongside epinephrine, corticosteroids and antihistamines are crucial for managing the allergic response. Vasodilators may be necessary to address coronary spasm, and mast cell stabilizers can help mitigate further mast cell degranulation. It's absolutely vital to remember certain contraindications in Kunis syndrome. Beta blockers, for instance, are contraindicated. And crucially, avoid morphine, as it has the potential to induce further mast cell degranulation, which is precisely what we're trying to prevent. Understanding Kunis syndrome is important for emergency physicians, cardiologists, and allergists alike. Recognizing this syndrome can significantly impact patient outcomes by guiding appropriate and timely management. That's all for this episode of Emergency Insights. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll be back next time with more crucial information for healthcare professionals. I'm James Carter, and this has been Emergency Insights.